Several people responded to a Craigslist ad written by a woman looking for sexual encounters. The problem is, she isn't the one who posted it. Police say Jason Leonard's idea of revenge broke the law. But it's a new law that Chris Sadegi explains is being enforced more and more. When someone posts an ad on the internet, there's not much stopping them from posting whatever name or phone number they want, even if it's not theirs. Pretending to be someone else to hurt someone on the internet is a very serious uh, set of facts. Williamson County DA John Bradley says that's the reason a new law in Texas was created in 2009 that makes it a felony. Since then, if you pretend to be someone else and try to cause harm doing it, you now can be prosecuted. As people become familiar with it and law enforcement agencies do investigations and use it, we're going to see more and more of it. And the latest is Jason Eric Leonard. Police in Leander say his ex-girlfriend began getting sexually explicit phone calls and text messages from men she'd never met before. How'd they get her number? Police say Leonard posted a Craigslist ad pretending to be her. This is the sort of thing that's beginning to grow nationally. One of the cases that led to new laws across the country happened in 2009 when Ty McDowell raped a Wyoming woman after her ex-boyfriend posted a Craigslist ad pretending to be her. The ad said the woman had a rape fantasy she wanted someone to play out. Education is the key to solving this entire problem. An arrest warrant says Leonard deleted the ad after realizing what he'd done was wrong. And Bradley thinks teaching some internet etiquette could become a part of the growing up process. Schools need to let children know that that's a crime so that they can av avoid it. And being someone you're not is no joke. In Williamson County, Chris Sadegi, KXAN News.